Iranian woman burned to death by father for having a lover. On October 3rd, 22-year-old uh, Faze Maleki passed away due to her injuries caused by third-degree burns. A doctor who treated this patient, Dr. Iman Navabi, no relation to this Navabi, um, shared a censored photo of Faze's severe burns on his Instagram around October 4th, stating that her father had burned her for having a lover. According to a witness, Faze's father poured gasoline on her and lit her on fire. The public and revolutionary prosecutor for the Kurdistan province in Iran stated that an investigation was underway to determine if she had burned herself or if someone else had burned her. A group of activists planned to protest against honor killings, which claim more than 400 lives every year in Iran. On October 3rd, women's rights activists in the province capital of uh, Sanandaj uh, commended condemned, oh my God, condemned the killing and demanded changes in the discriminatory laws against women. This is unbelievable. Um, this is some of the worst way to go. One of the worst ways to go. I don't know what to say. Um, well, I mean, do we, so we're covering this as if this has, this is a bad religion. Do we know if it is? Um, no, we okay, don't so technically know that. Um, mm -hmm. when maybe this is just my presumption, but I feel like when a woman is killed over having a relationship outside of marriage, I just assume that that's religious. I can't think of many like yeah. motivations behind that that isn't imbued with a religious attitude. I think that's a somewhat safe assumption. We just want to make sure that we're not talking with certainty. Even if it's not directly related to religion, it is indirectly related to religion because the whole idea of having a lover being punishable by in any way, even like let alone something this way, you know, something as disgusting and brutal and violent as this, that comes from Abrahamic, an Abrahamic mindset, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, or even if it's a pre, well, actually, let me be clear, like even pre-Abrahamic mindset, it was, these ideas were, you know, normalized in society through religion. Hmm. Actually, there are, there were also traditions that thought like this, that it's conservatism, even if it's not religion. So, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's a good I way mean, of putting it. Sometimes yeah. I find it difficult to untangle conservatism from religion. I mean, in a country like Iran, they are the same thing, right? Mm -hmm. Even if they, even if it's not directly said so, cons you know, conservatism comes from religion. I'm just like, I'm just not saying that it's always the case because if I think about like long history of these ideas there are times where it's just tradition or conservatism but it's often dressed up it's of, often like spread with religion so i don't think i think we're just being very careful here not to assume something i i do think it's a somewhat of a safe bet to say this is religion but that the counter to that would be like how could this be islam given that the punishment doesn't it's not anything in Islam would allow this. Nothing in Islam allowed us, right? Again, we have to do this. We have to always go through this every time we cover news like this because there are so many people that haven't watched our previous explanations of stuff like this. Let's be clear. You know, not only you don't get to burn your daughter alive in Islam, you don't get to kill her in any way in Islam, right? The, the killing part of your daughter is not allowed. Um, and even if somebody has committed adultery in Islam, again, I'm not, I'm not, Islam is horrible, okay? Because in Islam, but it's, this is not how the punishment, in Islam, for example, if somebody commits adultery, there needs to be four witnesses and there needs to be a judge that, you know, hears it. And then the punishment, which will be, um, you know, um, depending on the place, lashing, you know, or stoning to death 
depending on whether people consider uh, the Quranic verses that were eaten by goat apparently uh, as still holding as you know as as a just way to respond to this or not like depending on the islamic school of thought order the punishment should be lashing or stoning to death okay so there's a disagreement on that but you need four witnesses for that uh, and you need a judge and it can be the father and all of that so it is this is what what is being done here is not allowed in islam in fact what is being done this act is actually by itself punishable by death in islam like if you burn your daughter like that or you kill your daughter um even if you say she but well she had a lover the father is now can be punished by death in islam right um however this doesn't mean that islam is not we can that does not completely absolve islam from this because the attitudes that people have um the sense of ownership over women the physical punishment that is allowed in islam uh this, and most importantly more than anything else the shame culture the honor culture that is associated and and the fact the purity of women that needs to be defended and the honor of the family and the shame that the, that the entire family has to deal with because of the that lost purity of a woman that it goes away when she has like sex as sort of a marriage that entire attitude comes from um islam and other conservative religions I mean, all religions are conservative. Um, comes from Islam, so so is this act Islamic? No. Can this be blamed as on Islam? Probably yes. These two statements are not contradictory. Does that make sense, Susanna? Yeah. On hmm. average, um, what is your impression of how Islamic the Kurdish region? Of Iran is because I the know that there are either. a lot there are a lot of Kurds who I've spoken to who find it as something outside and foreign to their kind of culture and they strongly reject Islam because of that but how in gen in your opinion and experience like in mm -hmm. those areas is it actually a, a you know prominent very deeply held practice depends really there are a lot of secular movements in the kurdish areas and there's also a lot of communist movements in the kurdish areas hmm. um but also there's also islamic sunni islamic extremism also in the kurdish areas so there's it's a mixed bag and the statistics of that really depends on the area especially hmm. on the country like are we t you know the kurdish parts of iraq and iran and syria and turkey um it's I, I don't know the exact numbers of what the it is common for people to assume some more atheist or secular or leftist or communist movements inside the kurdish areas but there are also you know some sunni far-right movements as well as well so it really mm. depends i mean the kurds have been um going through more tensions and you know dealing with the countries the governments that they consider as their oppressors and that you know there's a lot of tension between the kurdish people and each country's government where they are with every single mm -hmm. government that the kurds yeah. are living under has some tensions with them so that does lead to more radical movements and extremism mm -hmm. either either towards islam or towards other but it also but it also t tends to create some not so radical um, movements that we actually support like secular movements liberal movements but it's just like um whatever you get in other places you get it but the kurdish area is like a lot more intensely you know i mean it makes so, sense they're just under the boot like yeah every government where they are it's horrible um yeah but yeah i thought that that'd be interesting to touch on because that's a flavor to the story and it's something that i'm not as familiar with yeah i mean like let's be honest this person is this person arrested um when we published this there wasn't any update on um so <clears throat> further action taken this is just frankly one doctor saying 
and witnesses, mm. according to the publication, who said that this is what happened. Here's another thing you could blame Islam for, even if this is not completely, this is not, a, wait, not completely, not at all. Again, this is not endorsed by Islam. This killing of your daughter is not endorsed by Islam, okay? However, another thing you could blame Islam for is that the punishment for this father is likely to be less than if this was her his son that he burnt, killed or burned alive, right? So he's going to get a less of a punishment because it was his daughter that he burned alive and not a son that he burned alive. And that is Islamic. So there you go. Hey, guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Cali, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.